Graham, looking back to Wellington in, in 2003 when England won 15-13, I think the, the only second time ever winning a game in New Zealand, what are your recollections of the, the mood around the camp and the build-up to the game? Trepidation, because you're in New Zealand and not many teams go over there and, and win, obviously. I mean, I, I was there in 98, fairly young, successful tour where we lost to New Zealand twice on that tour. So my memories of playing New Zealand weren't great going there. Um, I remember the, a few days before we left, playing for Leicester in a European playoff game against Saracens at Northampton, which went to over 100 minutes. Well, I remember um, being quite surprised by the fact that it was uh, my first time in New Zealand with a, in an England shirt. And it was the first time that Martin Johnson had ever worn an England shirt in New Zealand and Jason Leonard. So all of us were, were well, I wouldn't say coming towards the end of our careers, but we were certainly fairly close to it. And yet this was the first time we'd ever been to New Zealand. So for the whole squad, it was a real challenge. We were fairly determined, really, playing in Wellington. It was only a one-off game, um, no second chances, a few months before the start of Rugby World Cup. So for us, it was a real opportunity to lay um, a marker down on New Zealand, just to remind them gently that um, when, when it came to the World Cup in a few months' time, that they weren't going to have everything their own way. I remember the game. I remember, I mean, Carlos Spencer missed a few chances at goal, bombed a try. And we're down to six men in the scrum at one point. I was doing all I could not to go backwards. And they took a quick tap from a penalty and it was held up and that kind of changed the game. Well, to be honest, we, we didn't play particularly well, but then again, they, they didn't play very well either. Um, it was a horrible, wet and windy night in Wellington. And it was one of those where we just had to tackle and defend and, and work really hard. Um, and if I'm honest, I think we probably just got the better of them physically. You know, we physically dominated them. Johnny Wilkinson um, kicked, a, kicked some good goals. You know, we, there was only one try scored in the game. It was a pretty scrappy one by, by them. Um, we had a couple of incidents where um, Neil Back got simbinned and then um, unfortunately I got simbinned straight afterwards. I remember them breaking um, three to, to, to score a try and, and Justin Marshall pulled his hamstring just before he was about to score. Um, and uh, they were, they were going to recycle the ball and I sort of looked at the breakdown and thought, well, I've got to take one for the team here and sort of killed the ball and, and thinking that Neil Back had already been sent off, that there's no way the referee's going to send me off as well. And uh, that's exactly what he did. So uh, we thought we'd give the Kiwis a chance by going down to 13 men. But it was the right decision to make. It was seven points to them or, or, or us down to 13 men. And it nearly cost us the game. But, uh, you know, we came out on top. And I think that period where we were down to 13 men, I think we won the game 3-0. So uh, that was probably the, the, the turning point. Was there real physicality in the pack? Was there real...? Absolutely, yeah. Is that a bare minimum you think you need to try and win a game there? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You, you understand that going. I remember the training we were doing leading up to the game, the intensity of the breakdown. It's going to be a massive focus for us as well, uh, this tour. I remember playing against a, a prop I really respect in Greg Somerville, who subsequently ended his career playing for Gloucester in the UK. And I had a good battle with him. Um, no, it was it's a famous night, you know, things like that I remember for the rest of my life. Someone wrote in the Telegraph incidentally about the game and they said the rest of the pack was simply giant gargoyles, raw boned, cauliflower reared monoliths that intimidated and unsettled. Is that set up, you know, is that, is that a fair approximation of what Where happened? Where did they get that from? <laughs> Who knows? It's a harsh, harsh critique of me. In terms of one-off games, where does it rank in your career achievements? Well, I've only been to New Zealand once and, uh, and I've only played them once, so, so you've got to be quite pleased with that. Um, you know, played the All Blacks many, many times here at Twickenham, um, won some, lost some, but uh, I think for all of us, it was a, it was a seminal moment in our, in our kind of, you know, pursuit of Rugby World Cup. What do you think England can learn? Obviously, it's 11 years now from then, different personnel, but what can England learn in terms of a, a group mentality about going over and trying to win a game in New Zealand from that? You've got to go over there and play. Not leave anything in the locker, not be defensive, but play at them. You've got to score more points than them, because they, they do score points. Uh, we've got to counter their threats, but go over there with confidence. You go over there with nothing to lose. Play with that energy that I'd like to think is becoming our trademark. The only way you, you, you get respect from New Zealand is by going down there and beating them. And, uh, you know, England have got everything in their armoury to do that. You know, of course, New Zealand are a good side. England have to execute and play well on the day. But just go and beat them. Go and have a go, you know, and go and find out how good you are against some of the best players in the world. And, uh, and you know, when you come off the pitch, you might, you might have surprised yourself and, and realised actually that, uh, um, you know, that, that, that England do have a very worthy team. And, um, 
you know, as I said, they, they, don't, they don't watch a lot of our rugby over in New Zealand, so they don't really understand who we are and, 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 and what players exist and the quality and talent we have over here. So you just have to go and gently remind them that we, we've got plenty uh, and then you'll get their respect.